So I've, I've in the first two lessons for paint pot, I've shown you know kind of how to have a little drawing program where you can draw things and you can change the color, um, and you can draw lines on whatever color is chosen. Okay, the next thing I want to show is what if you wanted to make it so these dots could be a, a different size. Okay, and I'm going to do it simply at first where the user can choose either small or big dots. Okay, so I'm going to start over here and I'm going to add a couple more buttons and one button is going to say say big and one button is going to say small. Okay, so I'm going to grab this fourth button and I'm going to change its text so it says big and I'm going to rename it to big button. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to grab one more button, and I'm going to call it, or put the text on it to small, and rename it small button. And I should probably do something to make the UI look a little better, but for now, you know, that's, that's fine. I've got my five buttons, and my goal is for when the user clicks big or clicks small, and then starts clicking on the canvas, the dots will be bigger or smaller. Okay, um, so let's come back over to the blocks editor. We've got our colors set up, but the big and small button is going to be a little bit different. And the reason is, is there's you know for the colors, canvas has a, a property called paint color, which we could just directly change. Okay, and we in fact we remembered the current color within the paint color property of Canvas. Okay, really what we need to do is remember it and then use whatever we remember as this radius here. So we're we're not going to want to put five here. Instead, we're going to want to have kind of a variable here, something that can change. Okay, and so you know here's here's where we need to introduce variables. So I'm going to go to built-in and definition, and I'm going to drag in this variable. And what you got to think of a variable as is like a like a spreadsheet cell, like a memory cell. And uh, in this case, I'm going to call my variable dot size. Okay, and I'm just going to put a number in there. In fact, you can just type in some things, and it'll just create the block for you. But I'm going to I'm going to say I've got this variable called dot size, and his initial value is two. So you want to envision a box or a memory cell with a 2 in it, and that's how it's going to start. Okay. So now when the user clicks the big button or the small button, I just want to make sure that I change my variable called dot size. So you know, here's small button dot click and big button dot click. So for big button dot click, I want to change dot size to 8. For small button dot click, I want to change it back to 2. Okay, now when I've defined a variable, it's a little weird, but what App Inventor does is it creates uh, what are called setters and getters. It creates blocks that let you change the variable's value. Okay, and it puts them in my definitions. So as soon as I create a dot size, all of a sudden I have these two new blocks I can use. In fact, I'm going to grab the set dot size, and what I want to set it to is 8. Okay, and I'm just going to copy this block, and for the small button, I'm going to change my number to 2. Okay, so when the user clicks the big button, my variable called dot size changes to 8, and when they click the small button, it's going to change to 2. Okay, now right now, my program is not going to change. I can click big. I'm still going to get the dots the same. Okay. And really what I need to do is I need to change what's in this radius. It can't be 5 um, like it's drawing now. It's got to be either 2 or 8. So what I want to put in there is dot size. So global dot size is the way I refer to a memory cell. So I know I've got this kind of hidden memory cell called dot size. It's going to have a 2 or an 8 in it. And I know when I draw my circles, I want them to be drawn 
with a radius which is of whatever is in that memory cell. So not a concrete number, but a variable dot size. So now if I come over and click big, you'll notice I get my bigger dots. And if I click small, it goes to circles with radius 2. Um, so anyway, it's an introduction of how to use variables to remember things. And in this case, we're trying to remember how big we should draw the dots when a person clicks on the screen. And for, you know, for this app, we're saying you know, when they click on this one button, remember 8. When they click on the other button, remember 2. And then use what you remember when you draw circles.